In this short section of unit zero for AP Biology, we're gonna go over something called variation. And it's gonna be kind of our penultimate section before all of the math is gonna be involved within AP Biology. Remember that variation is just the measure of how much spread there is within the data around some type of center, usually the mean. When talking about variation, we're gonna be looking at something called within and between group variation. On this graph, you can see there's three data samples. Now, each of these data samples is showing maybe a different variable. And within that variable, there is something called within group variation. But these variables also have something called between group variation. Within group variation is just a variation within each variable. On this graph here, you can see there is variation within each of these different variables. Whatever the variables are, you can see that there is going to be a variation within the data sets themselves. However, between group variation is the variation between each of the variables. In this graph, the between group variation is showed by the different colors here. You can see there's a variable here, here, and here. The variation among them is called between group variation. Thinking about within group variation, look at these two sets of data, which has more and which has less within group variation. If we look at the top line here, we can see there's a lot of variation within these data points or the red dots. Here, we don't have as much variation here. So what that means is there's more within group variation here than compared with here. There's less within group variation. Thinking about within versus between group variation, we can look at this with species. Within group variation is within this one species. Between group variation is looking at the variation between different species. Let's take a look at this graph that shows flower petal length and the variation between three different groups. Between these three different groups, which group has the most within group variation? Remember, that is within the variable itself and each of these is representing a different variable. So basically what I'm asking is which of these three numbers represents data samples with a lot of variation? So you can see in these red data points, there is some variation within all the data points. There is even more variation when it comes to the green data points. You can see that there, the top and the bottom is much further away from each other and there's just more variation here. In the blue data points, there isn't a lot of variation. That is to say their data points are more clumped together. So the blue variation is very low. Their within group variation is very low. While the green data points have a lot of within group variation. And the red one here has a little bit of variation, more than blue, but less than green. Now looking at the between group variation, there's not much difference between each of these different groups. Looking at the between group variation, there isn't a lot of variation. You can see the averages for all three are gonna be very similar to each other. However, the within group variation is gonna be very different looking at their data points for each specific group. Here's another way of looking at it. We have two different sets of data for this experiment. We have plants grown in poor soil and we have plants grown in fertile soil. Now, each of these data sets are gonna have variation within them. You can see the poor soil has variation in the plant growth and the fertile soil has variation in the plant growth. Again, that's within group. This is within one group here, there's variation and there's within group variation here in this group. Now, the between group variation is looking at the variation between these two. Obviously, we can see the plants grow more here, but how much variation is there? Now you might be wondering, why do we care about this type of variation when I'm looking at data samples? Well, this is going to have a huge effect on something called standard deviation and standard error of the mean, which is really important for science, statistics, and just AP biology in general. I like to remind students that this is where we start incorporating a lot more math into the sciences. And yes, there is a lot of math when it comes to the sciences and specifically biology, but it gets easier as you get more and more practice with it. So don't be scared of math. If you want to go into biology, yes, the math is there, but don't be scared of it. It will come with time and be, become easier and easier.